What happened with Carolina? They fire offensive coordinator Joe Brady, who came with Matt Rule in a very heralded maneuver by the organization as the best, hottest coaching candidate from college and the best, hottest coordinator candidate from college and pairing him up. What happened in Carolina? I think Brady's reputation was a little bit shaky coming into this year, uh, Rich, because I think the Panthers were a little surprised that he couldn't make beautiful music with Teddy Bridgewater last year. In fact, at the end of last year, I'm told that Brady expected that he was going to get fired after last year. And he didn't. They kept him in. And uh, basically, I think what it all means is that uh, he wasn't calling the game that the head coach wanted to be called. The head coach wants to be a little bit more ground and pound than uh, than Joe Brady wanted it to be. And so rather than continuing to try to deal with this, put a square peg in a round hole, he just made a change. I think he almost did Brady a favor by doing it on an NFL game day Sunday so the news would be dwarfed by the white noise of all the games. Huh. So... Carolina, again, like the Saints, like other teams that are on the outside look, looking in, uh, still have five games left to play to make a run, and they're not too far away from that playoff spot. So They're not going to be making a run. Well, then the question is, like, what are they going to look like? So they, it's going to be Chuba Hubbard and, 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 and Cam doing mesh point stuff and trying to jam it down your throat and trying to make that run that you say they're not going to make? I mean, I mean, who knows, Rich? I mean – I think the bottom line in all of this, in all of this is you look at every coach who is struggling right now, everyone, and there is a universal truth. They don't have a quarterback. And, you know, they can, they can dress it up any way they want to in Carolina in the last five weeks. Do you really have hope that at the end of that five-week period – that David Tepper and Matt Rule are going to have a meeting and they're going and, and, and Scott Fitterer and they're going to have a meeting and say, yep, Cam's our guy going forward. That was a $6 million scotch tape job till the end of the year. And then they're going to go out and spend more money and try to fix it one more time and chase the tail that is every team knowing that it will never win without getting a quarterback of the future. Does Ron Rivera have a quarterback of the future? Is, has Taylor Heineke played his way into being the Washington football He's team, whatever they'll be known as? Contention, but it's why, you know, it's good that you've got five more games to make that judgment and maybe a postseason game. I could see a scenario where uh, Washington drafts the best quarterback available when it picks in the draft this year. <clears throat> or... Uh, you know, if there's one in the second or third round that they really like, and then just bring them to camp and let them learn and give Taylor Heineke another year to see if he's a long-term guy. But, I mean, maybe. He's the kind of guy who you want on your roster. It's exactly like, why do you want Colt McCoy? Why do you want Gardner Minshew? Because you want competent uh, or better than competent level NFL backup on your team. So what about Minshew? Did 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 that uh, do anything? Move the needle in any way, shape, or form in in Philadelphia? I would despite doubt it. I mean, they never traded for Gardner Minshew. Basically, Gardner Minshew is you know replaced Joe Flacco, and they're both six round picks. Uh, they, you know that was the compensation for him. So that there's there's. I, I shouldn't say there's no way. It's highly, highly unlikely that Howie Roseman woke up this morning and said, well, Jalen Hurts, Gardner Minshew going into 2022. Hmm. You know, they've got – they probably will have three hmm. first-round picks somewhere between, let's say, 12 and 25. And you're going to be able to do a lot with that, uh, maybe between 10 and 25. And you're going to be able to do a lot with that. So we'll see what happens. I don't think they're done building their quarterback roster. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.